Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Sb's truck star. <laughs> Yo, Gwen, Tony, Tris, I met talk about Tris, Chris, Neil, Introvert, Johnny, 357, I pray. I pray. Yeah, we are mixed down a lot clock already, man. See him rhythm from the um the Prince one if you don't a drop couple of days ago, as you can see, session no organizer or nothing. Introvert, you probably go. Um, probably get the most out of this because you asked me a question about this yesterday with separating instruments with verse and all them things there. So you will see kind of how me approach that. So first thing I'm like for do, as we know, I'm like my thing organized. So we don't play this while we uh, play more rhenium and color up all like tracks them and then we'll spread it out on the mixer and get to get to mixing. So let's do that.
Is that bang? I don't know. <laughs> Sound like shit. <laughs> Yo, it sounds like a fuckery. Um, what the key? Um, e. Whoa. What the fuck is this key? This is a C major, which it could be. So, C major, it is. See what a difference mixing make right now. It sounds like a fucker. Everything did just sound good just 10 seconds ago. Let's copy over all of them here. Go back. Pierce. Now we need pattern two. Pierce. Turn off loop. All right. Now we can get rid of that. And go in here. So right click split by channel. Cool. So let's put this all the way down. Like track 20. And drag in everything else. Cool. This can shorten up. This can shorten up. What else we can do? Mm, that's it. Then we can double up. All right, cool. Can stretch this. Cut that and that. All right, on two, 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 two. Oh, can do the tubular bells as well. Whoa, two shot. That's better. All right, so what the tempo? 98. So, verse start at 9. Is look, start with the speaker at the Alright, when I need the loop, yeah, can delete that. Put that here, so. Alright, so for the intro, just for the intro, this part right there, so we just stretch this out or make it unique. And we need to firstly copy over the spicata into the pattern. And what I'm gonna do is make a um take the spicata strings, drop it on octave or two. Just need to get one of the notes to my overlap. So just like that. And then what we do do is we do put this here so and copy and paste it and drop it and active like that. Oh shit! I also need to get rid of this. So I'm do it to the wrong pattern. Of course, I'm do it to the wrong pattern. So let's take this, copy this, put it back to normal. Alright, and then put this up here now, paste it, and then should be able to. Cut off that. Cool. And we'll do the same thing here. I want to do that for the intro. I um, also need something for kind of 
fill out the front of this um oh, kit um logo trap ONG main stash loops Double click, resample auto, right click, four bar. Cool, I oh, we need um sneer roll here so don't get a whole new sneer just to kind of keep it fresh so let's go into um uh, sneers Yeah, new channel. Get rid of them bar, yeah. We have two ways we can do it. We can either increase the start time, hold on, point control, and push up the start time right there, so a little bit till you get rid of it. Or the old fashioned way, right click, open it in the audio editor, right click on the bottom right there, so maximize this one. You can see it. So, right there, so where it's a loop, right click on the little marker, delete. Just like that. And then we can just drag back the sample, drop it here. And that gone, you know what I mean? Let's close that. Um, so no, that's that trim. That is because that's in auto. We'll take that out of auto and put that in a resample. No, we'll take the time and put that to none. So now we have it back to normal. Normalize, get it a little bit louder. Um, so what I like for doing, me do like snare rolls. I like for you have my snare roll kind of match up with my melody, meaning that we are play, you know, notes in the melody. I'm not going to tune the snare, of course, or left it as C. Um, it's not necessary. But I typically like we have the, the notes in the snare play in the same notes as, as my melody. So, so we'll start up here. We'll do a chop here. Take this. No, do I do one? Do I take this lower, take all of them. Quantize this, chop it. Third step, I'll put three. Like that. Also do. do. Um, instead of pan it myself, or use pan man later on when I mix it, but for right now I can just put it on the mixer. Track 17. So now we have something for bring it into the into the um into the verse. The one thing I will do in the playlist or in the piano roll. Is without pitch it, so it'll make it start like a bit higher. Look a bit lower though. Cool. Um, let's grab, copy that, insert. Oh, call it. So just sneer roll, and without pierce it. Here, um, really and truly, 
Don't need it for the all the way over there, so. So we'll just press shift and use the left arrow and bring it all the way to the right side over here. So, so now the pattern is much shorter instead of this long pattern where we have to resize. You know what I mean? So press the arrow. Look a white thing in the corner right there, so. I press the arrow. Press it again. And it should have went away. But for whatever reason, it's still there. I don't know what I make. Um, but oh well, fuck it. And so like that. Cool, of course it low. So yeah, just to kinda of get that out of the way. So coming out of that and go into the chorus. Of course the app loud as fuck. I'm gonna make this pizzicata string playing at the second part of the chorus just to add some variation. And it's played off like that on purpose. Sound like it's a glitch, but I'm gonna play it like that on purpose. So we'll bring that in at the second half of the chorus. And we'll bring in a light and pure sound yeah? second half of the chorus, same way. Just here, some let me say some variation. I'm gonna do some things with the hi hat too in a second, but for right now, that's how everything laid out. So let's add a marker for the intro. Now add a marker for the chorus. And um, oh shit, delete. Add a marker. Um, and then also, what I'm gonna do is. There's something is I think I may have play around with um of late, I'm not sure yet, but may I, um may I play with automating tempo. Like basically, um if me no, we do when we get to the verse, we kinda explain what I go on. Let's add a loop and then start mix. So we have this mushy thing right there. So we have that. So might use more effects. So what I'm gonna do is instead of um right, let's just do this. Let's um Right click, color, gradient, or go from like a blue like that to like a light brownish color like that. And of course, it'll obviously dark blue and then straight to the, you know, the other color. But the more sound effects I'm going to add, the more this to get lighter. So for right now, we'll just put them on um, them two tracker. Yeah. Cool. And then we can start mix. So speak at the strings of the main melody. Um, so what I'm going to do yesterday, yesterday I'm going to start with, um, start with the melody and then me mix the bass so, or mix the drums. So I'm going to start with the drums today and then go into, into the melody. So start out here. So, boom. no sound, of course. So let's bring up, what I'm going to use an 8 away, right? Yeah. And this eight away, they already have distortion on it. That's not nothing what me add. Cool. So, let me say this to them. Like, forget rid of shit what I don't need. So, upon this eight away, eight, we don't use the curve EQ. And without get rid of anything below about 30 or 40 hertz, so I'll go 35. And if at 35 me hear a massive difference, then we will lower it down. All right, so let's turn this off. Where is the bypass? There is no bypass. No, no, no sense. Oh, there we go. So that I would out. And then that I would it. Let's go. Cool. Tap in with a roll slightly. Kind of fight. Yeah. So the reason I'm gonna do this one right here, so is because that's how they kick the there. The reason why I'm gonna do this is to kinda get rid of some of the um should be able to listen to the frequency. 
Um, sort of listen, yeah. Get rid of some of this. And I mean, too much color, you know, it's never really a good thing. So that a whole the whole reason behind that. And then for this part, I'm just really kind of the one roll off most of the um the top end because it's a eight oh eight and when I really need it. Cool. So we have that. So next, we'll load up side chain. For anybody who I use this, you know, if you want the side chain settings or whatever, just let me know. If you use the compressor, we can put a link to it in the description. Um, this all me use for side chain, my kick on my 808. It give me the most natural sound. Not saying that the only thing, but I want me to use. The settings where you see in Ayaso are the settings I use all the time. The only thing what change is the side chain level. Sometimes I use a different kick, so a different kick might affect the level differently. And that's what I say. So that's the only thing what change. Um right now it's not set up, so if my play, it basically a side chain with itself. You understand what I say? Because the only thing what they feed the side chain right now is the bass because of the only thing or routed to this channel as if I got processing and right click, nothing I did it. So basically the side chain I listen to itself. So what we need for do is um get um which kick me use kick seven of course now right click on this side chain to this track now if we go back in here so right click we have it right here so cool so we we'll go back around this like me said I already know say it though way too powerful if we just put the kick up to it there you basically you hear the bass that come up you know what I mean that not sound natural so let me say typically start at five and if at five it's still too much, I just constantly back off and back off until it sound natural. Unnatural, still. All right, let's turn down the kick. All right, now let's go back up. Cool. Much more natural. EQ. We have a sneer, right? If we put it mono, not really lose nothing. But I like all of the information down there, so, so we get rid of it. I think we layer this up with another snare. You get the same exact treatment. If we don't need it, get rid of it. Right click, follow your filter. Cool. All right, so now we are come to a situation which part we have kick, eight to eight, bass, snare. Four things will live right in the center. Them always should be played down the center. Come to a first percussion. So we need to get it out of them way. Now notice, with this perk, even when we do nothing to it, when it will play right down the center, it's fine. We push it all the way to the left, you hear it much louder. To the right, you hear it much louder. Main reason because it have its own space. So... We have multiple ways to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do, get rid of all of the shit I don't want. So stack EQ again. CM full wave filter. If you use the stack EQ and you wonder what I'm making, see this is because I make it, right? So this filter, this filter is just a preset I'm going to save. So if you want something similar, just right click and go 20 and 18. You notice for them curve, I look a bit steeper than mine. You know, so I'm going to just make the curve how me want it. So, you have it, you just have it under a different name. So, all right, so now let's get creative with this, right? 
So the first thing I'm going to do after the filter, we're going to go into a limiter. And we're going to take the ceiling. Let's clip this till we see flatten out. There we go. So we can actually increase input. Hold on. I think a limiter I gotta do the job. So let's get something even more simple. Um we talked about this yesterday. The Vin audio thing. V clip is basically a clipper. Kinda like the um saturated plugin on me use, so the Make sure we bridge this and we don't take this with a hard clip like that. So don't lower the ceiling till we start get clipping. Now notice your era um like a click. Notice it gone. That's because when I just it just did a chop off the, the, the waveform. So let's slowly go back one and get this as close to a hard clip as possible. And then the last thing we can do, what I try to do is I try to balance the signal. We can sli like slightly play with the pan until we level out the signal. Um, almost perfect. Now when I hold on pan control, it make you move this slower. We just move it like that, it fast, right? So slightly want to get the signal as level as possible. And what we don't know is we're running through a delay. Um, if we can find simple delay for use, stock plugin delay three. Charlie Bling, Ramos, David, SK, Nate, Dream X, Dark Creation. Yes, well, go on, Jenna, Jenna. Yeah. All right, so. No, we're supposed to hear a bunch of fuckery. You know what I mean? Sound like shit. So, tempo sync. Perfect. Notice we have it 100% wet. No, we'll change that. So, this is just the same dry signal. So, start increase the wet signal. Put this in a stereo. No, I can't leave it in a mono. Mm, stereo fine. Let's increase the time. Offset. I will turn on the feedback. Also, the high pass this. Take out all of the resonance. No modulation. Cool. And lastly, notice we still hear it. What we also can do actually is just turn on the jar. So this is just a wet signal. We're going to show you one man. Dynamic puns. And let's find, um, where is it? No, user. Where do I go? Wrong. Where is this damn preset? I'm going to do, we don't put this as soft. I'm going to put the width, make sure I set the width all the way up. And if we bring back everything else.
without Bailey can't hear it I mean just like get his own space and mostly I live on the left and on the right No. So what I'm doing right now is what me consider um um uh, what would I call it? Creative side chaining. Um <laughs> I don't know what you expand but tough, brother. <laughs> Swear, brother. It's like a business cover promotion. No more off stepping. <laughs> yeah, yes. All right, so let, let me say, basically, we'll treat, treat this way one name. So let's listen to this. Let's sneer them. So you hear all them two sneer pattern, I play the same pattern, right? But the main sneer on my if you hear, is the, the trap sneer. You understand what I'm say? But the, the, the other sneer, so... You know, dominant because it have higher frequency. It, it more of a it's more of a higher end, um, more of a high end or top end type of sound to it. It a dominate the other snare, right? So without even lowering the volume, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna side chain it to to the other snare. So it now will become the dominant snare basically. You know, so if the two of them are play the same time, that the snare they take the lead. But if not, then the other snare will remain exactly as it is and come true. So. Fab filter, stereo again, and we'll go dynamics. Same exact thing, right? So, all we can do is let's do this. Let's right click here, so side chain, boom. So, notice now. It's still, I hear the other sneer. But you hear it more around on the edges, right? So really what we just need to do is kind of just um, adjust certain things. So first to the release, we don't turn that up to about 20%. We also can adjust the, the, the side chain level. We'll put that about 20. And notice whenever they know the EQ wise to this. So now we don't EQ this. And what, what will happen is it will directly affect the signal will go to the side chain. So the frequency them when we want for kind of stand out more, we can EQ them for stand out more basically. So start with the full wave filter. We'll go up to with this snare, I'm typically like I go about like 70, 80, sometimes higher. Cool. Right as another area, I want that kind of stick out. So if we boost this. You know what I'm saying? Which I was like way too loud, but you get the idea. It'll come out more. So without the side chain. Wait, no, we do it the wrong way. Hold on there. Side chain to this track. Yeah, I'm do it the wrong way. We need to just um mute the the, the plugin. And I mean, that kind of take over all of our guan. I mean, I want that. That's how it's supposed to be. Especially when everything else I play. No one hear that. You know, I just did it for help out, but I know it had the dominant. Another thing, if you look, the waveform is a little bit off as far as the left, right, so we don't move the panner a little bit, flatten out that. Cool. One way, later you probably don't know this, one way you can tell if your sounds. Level or not, look when I talk, right? You see all the two lines, watch when I stop talk, or both of them fall down at the same time. Right? Now, if we pan this, one's supposed to start fall before the other one. That's a quick way to tell if your sounds them kind of level. Notice everything fall at the same time. 
Except for the, the perk, of course, because we have that, I got through some panning. Hi hats. Let's get creative again. So we don't go native instruments. Now I'm gonna use the crush pack today. Matter of fact, yeah, let's use freak again. Yeah, to go on, brother. I don't know how this thing is moving so shaky. Oh, I'll go on. Alright, let's go. I'll press F12. Close everything off our screen. Bring back up the mixer. Now, let's go. Native instruments again. We don't go flanger this time. And there's a preset I have, TMG, Trackstar Media Group, I had Aliens Approach. Boom, we'll, we'll turn on the mix because this is going to be ridiculously flanged. So I'll make a little bit of the dry signal come through. And then lastly, we'll all go waves for the L2. Uh, waves, L2. Stereo mono, don't really matter. May I choose stereo because you have some panning going on. If you see if you signal mono, you can't really do no type of panning. Because well, I we can pan it when it's mono, but I can't really move it around like I would want because it, it always, I got to try to force it for, for staying at the center. So, what we'll do, what we'll look for a median, like the, the middle between the left and the right, and we'll all stick the threshold right there, so. So now, I'm going to let that go. The signal is supposed to flatten out. Sometimes the left might load about None of them now go ever really pass the ceiling. I would have put the automatic release all the way down, so I make it release as fast as possible. Cool. This effect right there says a gunshot. Quick way we'll treat that, right? We'll go st oh, stock plugins, stereo shaper. Panning, right? So right click, press delay. Now all of a sudden the gunshots on wide. That's after. This are before. Now I mean. So outside of that, I'll get the EQ again. Oh yeah, now I go on. Seems like I need to switch to FL Studio. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. Not like that. Not like that, brother. Um, just FL me I use for the longest, especially for rhythm. I'm mean, gonna like bounce out rhythm for go mix or else because that's just more file for my computer. Um, so yeah, I like mix my rhythm them in the FL, but for my mix a song, I carry that I got Pro Tools, which me have arms um, a song for for finish mixing idea, which a Pro Tools me go mix it in. So I me they mix it in. So yeah, definitely. Now nah, man, you don't have to switch the other brother. Um, what did we do with a gun shot? Take out some of the um low unnecessary shit. Alright, okay. A nice like a boost to about 5-6k. I'll change this to a round curve. High quality. Cool. Perfect. Kinda exaggerate upon the effect a little bit with a load up the first bus, which will be Valhalla. Or should I use the Valhalla? Uh, yeah. Vintage. Need a color feed. Something obnoxious, of course. Turn it on. Lock it. 
I'll load up the vintage verb. Do this yesterday, or I could do it again. Calculate the reverb and delay times, divide 60,000 by your tempo, which is 98. That gives me 6.1244898. So let's add that. So that was 6.1244898. Boom. 6.12. Can divide that by 2. You get 3.61. So we're going to roll with that. Boom. We have millisecond or pre delay. We're going to put that at one millisecond. Lock the mix. Bring down the attack a little bit. Size good. Filters good. Right behind the delay, we're going to load the Fab Filter Pro Q3. This is one way you can shape what your reverb sound like. So if you take the gunshot, send it to the reverb and take it out of the master, we have this big, long, nasty, sour reverb was too bright. So what we can do, take the EQ now and shape it. First, we will start with a filter, band pass, wide. Cool. At one point here. Um, let's delete this point right also. I don't need it no more. Put this a one. No, put the Q a one. Let's close in upon this. Let's change this from six to, I mean, 12 to six. And do the same thing with the high frequency them. Filter them. Cool. Now, the other dynamic thing here. I'm going to widen out this. Go up to one. No. Make this a little bit wider. Same thing with this. I'll add one more here. We need to see if this is a preset. That's what the fuck we need to do. We'll make both of them dynamic. So constantly, the reverb I gonna get pretty much monitored. You understand what I'm saying? So before... Or not before, well... Um, yeah, we need to turn off the damn Y1 name. Sorry about that. So, yeah, before the EQ, that's how many of you turn off was the EQ. So, this is before the EQ. Big, bright, you know, light and more centered, more focused. Now, of course, we're not going to drive all of the signal like that. So, we'll push this back in the main. So, we have the dry signal. So we'll go back our waves one more time for the, um, for the L2 uh, waves. L2, 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 L2. Yes, so. All right, so. Levels there about, right? That's so. Cool. That's limited. Um, Perfect. One levels for flat. Cool. Now we can add reverb. Take a little bit out of the master. Cool. Stereo, what is this? We have a crow. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Same thing with the crow. Reverb. EQ. Shave off some of the low. Bring out some of the high frequency them. use a different thing to get the crawl a little bit wider. No pun intended, I'm going to use a plugin name wider. And it's pretty much a one knob, one button, one slider. I'll put this about 60%. Perfect. 
perfect. Walking out of the truck. And then this is a snare, yeah? The transition snare. Let's put it in at the um, right there, so. Just for right now, because I need to mix it. The load up. I'll we'll go with the channel strip. Alright, so. Channel strip. No, matter for no. Channel strip. Or no channel strip. Yeah, channel strip. Fuck it. So, let's go. Um, event tied. Channel strip and we'll go E channel. Basically, this is film version of the SSL E channel. So if we load that up, just to kind of get a comparison, um, we have V2. Let's go SSL E channel. Um, this is a sneer. We have got some pun into it, so we can start mono, yeah, at the first plugin, so we can start mono. So basically, this is this, just a different company's version, right? So e-channel, e-channel, compressor, compressor, gate, um, where's the gate? You have a gate, but this I want to add a few extra features, you have the gate right there, so you have the gate right there, so you also have an expander which they should have an expander, I believe, but they have a compressor, five-band EQ, which is pretty much this right there. So you have the filters in and out, um, and then you have the option for turn on transformer. Basically, with a transformer, you can push the levels to some crazy level without like really distorting the sound. So that's not the reason why I'm going to pick it. It's just because more I get familiar with it and I really use Use it too much, so I'm sorry. Fuck it, might as well. So let's um get to it. So what we need for the still door is kind of sort of the sort. So let's get that power one track by itself and swap this and do what we are do. So the first thing we need to get rid of is the front type. I really like the attack. It kind of too aggressive. So let's um. Do a low cut, 6 or 12 dB, that's fine. So something like that. The boost are looking better than the mid, you know, the high mids. Or we'll take a little bit of the high frequency then. Cool. We'll add some saturation with the compressor, then we'll all compress it. Ratio 2 to 1 is fine. Attack as fast as possible. Release can do about 20 or so. And on the output gain, we we'll get about 3 to 6 dB, so I'll we'll put like 4 dB back. Knee, 24 dB. Kind of want this aggressive. So before, get rid of all that little choppiness. Now I'm gonna use for fill space. It's just a reverb. Promise you another track and I will hear it. So let's go back to the playlist. Um. I was lying. You actually hear it. But of course, the track empty, no melody. 
All right, cool. So we're done with that. So next step, we're running through Pan Man. I'll get it for dance round. I'll make sure so we put it on soft. If if I have it on hard, it does sound choppy. It'll it switch from left to right immediate. Let's switch back to the, this pattern. You can hear a little like choppiness because it, it not smooth. So I'll put the smoothing all the way up on soft. Now, let's increase the width. Pun man. It doesn't really matter why it sounds like by itself or why it sounds like another track. <laughs> um, where is the meaning like the bus stack? Where attack? Let's just do a simple high pass filter. Not more needed. Look a bit of verb. Tube a bell. Reverb to death. EQ stock again. What we need? Low end. What we do with it? Get rid of it. Then we have the piano. It's a dark score. Anything dark on my ear, I always have reverb. Especially in a horror movie. That's where I really get that creepy vibe. Because if you hear the piano dry, it does sound like a shit. Once again, we don't need none of the low shit, so we get rid of it. I feel like the better EQ if you do this would be the Fob Filter EQ. And the re reason for that is because of what they do yesterday. And uh, when I kind of exaggerate the shit with the bell. Feel like that I would have a better EQ, so that's what I would have used. And we don't need none of this. So now, we are going to pick out five frequency 
the five loudest frequencies, so we have one here, so. One year so. I just see another one right there, so. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. Right there, so yeah. Just need the lotus ones, then. I have another one right there, so. I'm just see one more right there, so. Perfect. That's that five. Cool, so the five loudest frequency, let's take the gain upon all of them, or put minus 10. Just like that. Let's make all of them just like that with a right click, make dynamic. The dynamic gain upon all of them, we'll put at plus 15. So like basically all it I do, it a fight with itself. So let's go dynamic one five. Hold on. A plus 15 at no look like it. The minus 10 look bigger than the plus 15. Yeah, that no look like a blood clad plus 15. Don't play with me now. Dynamic range. Let's go plus 20 then. Yeah. That shit crazy. Oh, I don't I mean, I know. It's okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, so basically what happened is, like me say yesterday, is oh shit. Because me have the bonds them static, so them can't move. You know, them just they were them there, them can't move. They pull out 10 dB and then have the, the dynamic same frequency a push 20. It's like them constantly a fight with each other, and the resulting effect is a much more um not is 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 a is a much less harsh sound because if basically if me fi, it's um let's turn off the dynamics on all of them right and take all of them and put them plus 20 without the dynamics let's make sure it's a clear dynamics it's like fucking you really can't listen to that load because it's with a fuck with the ears you know, because the frequency them are resonate a lot. So, basically, weird little technique, but hey, it work. So, minus 10, make dynamic, and then we push the dynamics plus 20. It's starting to seem like basically all me have to do a double it. So, minus 10 plus 20, and that kind of suit it and make, that, make it work, whatever. Back in the truck. Without pawn this, of course. I'm gonna kinda kill it with reverb to kinda make it more of a background sound. the grand piano other side pianos are mid-range instruments right so if we look on the spectrum realize say the piano really only take up from a probably about here so probably about right here so Forget about the bass. Bass is not really that important. I talk about the character and the sound. The best sounding frequencies on a piano is always not the mid-range. You know what I mean? Because if we take out, let's delete all of them. If we make this a, a high pass and take out everything I left, it sound like, what that sound like? That sound like more of a bass than a piano. You understand what I'm saying? But... If we disable that and take out all of that, so put this at the same exact frequency, we are here the piano. So, and you can see so that really living at the mid range right there. So, so, 
that's how I want to focus on with this grand piano. I left some of the bass because I want some of the little tone, the little character there. Like that, you know, we don't really need that. That's too much. Need more like this. Cool. Reverb. Cool. Up. Very bright up. Burn pass. Oh, me do have the fucking preset save. This is the reverb preset I'm at about. But this is old though. Yeah. Yep. Instrument jump. Oh my god, I'm forget somebody did save them. Yeah, so one pass narrow. Um Yeah, them dead the wrong presets. Um, where is this thing? Mm, right here. Highlight them eh, and just drag them around. Add reverb. And limiting. I'll limit this to minus 10. Plus minus 10, or plus 10. And we should see gain reduction. Yep. And it should be limited flat. Yep. Cool. One other thing in between the EQ and the limiter, I'll put the stereo shaper and kind of get the sound out of the center. Yeah, like that. Yeah, child, blame me, get myself, brother. I know your thing, I know your thing, girl. Alright, so let's take a listen back from the start. <laughs> yeah, Tony, why are you free, bro? So because I don't want this sound too repetitive, what I'm going to do is a simple, simple, simple thing. 
cut off the first and cut off the second. So now instead of the whole thing I go through, you hear parts of it. And then if you go into the verse, can make it bring in the verse with the tubular bell and the bird. You know what I mean? Change the color upon this to block. Accept. Lock. Raise that. Ooh. Small that up. Raise that up. We're not gonna make the gunshot appear so frequent. I do it once per four bar. Boom. Well, it's supposed to come in here, so I accidentally delete it. But <laughs> yeah, so we have the other loop here, um, which we need we did I use for bring in the, the the chorus. Let's raise that up. Alright, so what I'm one kind of do with this is um the idea I get for doing it is Let's try and run it through um, the what native instrument thing the name um, um, Freak. Alright. So try and I'll <laughs> big up yourself to see him there, brother. Mm. Yeah man, Tony. Ask anything you ask in there, brother. Anyone upon the stream. Anything you want to just let me know. Let's solo this out. Let's let's find a preset. Let's go in our actual. Kinda like this botanic thing, right? Or so. So, but the thing is, with this and with the, with effects in general, we have a lot of shit where we can do. So, you know, the possibilities are endless. So, basically, what we could do is we could take this route to this track only. Boom. Send it to this track next door. Now we have two copies of the same signal, right? Send it back to the reverb, too, of course. So we have two copies of the same signal, right? We can delete Freak off of this, uh, right? Let's listen to them two. Yeah. Let's lock this. Let's listen to them two. Yeah. So we need to actually kind of rename them. So let's rename. Let's cut the name. Our logo. Rename here. Yeah. So boom. I'll put one. And I'll rename the second one, two. Just like that. Give them the same color, something bright, something obnoxious. Bright orange, fuck it. Let's add a separator to the first, add a separator to the tracker. Cool. So them another more like a class, right? So for the first one, let's add freak, like me say. And what the priest what we did just up on special effects we did upon um but nick bull. And we can load a second copy of freak on a different preset. Pretty much just the same. So, what I do is we find one I like. So the first one, me nice, me like this. Uh. Cool. So turn that off. For the second one, let's find something what kind of suit we're going. So let's go back in the special effects and go to the next preset. the two of them sound like together. Alright, so this one where I play the effects, I'm going to do something else to it. So I'll go back to Polyverse and we'll all go Dynamics and we'll use Gatekeeper. Um, check, check. Vado, I'll go on, brother. So at least do that, man. They disturb your manners up. 
Yo, the real I open up, I go back to the the grind and if you organize yourself and make a time you go live. No more random things. Yeah, bro, well, it's right now. It's Africa random, brother. I go to school every day and I get out of school every day at random times. You know, like till them left school at like 12. Sometimes I get out of school at 2, sometimes 3, sometimes 7 o'clock. You understand? So things just are just the only way we can do it. You understand what I say? Um, the only absolute way. But, you know, all of the live stream them, bro, I'm going to re-upload them on my channel. So, you know, if you can't watch one or whatever, you can always catch it, you know what I mean? Just go on my channel and watch it over. So, yeah. But for right now, for the foreseeable future, bro, until at least for the next month, until my school thing done completely, it do fully random, bro. Def- definitely. I can't really do nothing about it. All right, so let's do this. Let's use Gatekeeper and fuck with the second one. All right, so let's um, go Rhythmic and let's find... The reason why we're still are here is because we have the... So let's copy. This, take it out of here, so. Cool. This is just the one, so the two of them together. Then we're gonna add back the reverb. I know, you know the track. Also can do is we can record both of these. We we'll put them in our description if anybody will want the perk loop. So let's um arm up FL for a card, solo out both of them channel there, and um record them. Well, I know get a little bit of a head start. Um, kind of, wouldn't say exactly like Shaper Box. I think it probably have a little bit more when it comes to options. So, these are the two loops. Uh, let me see, me put them in the description when the video done. So, let's mute them for right now. I thought we can actually take a listen. So, that's the one with the effect. And this other one without the effect. Yeah, so, let me say, we put them in the description when we're done. Um, well, let's listen now to the beat. Of course, we have to unsold the shit. Yeah. Basically, bouncing in place, yep. Our models have the option for consolidate. So I'm not really too like all this light pure kind of fit. So something what I'm going to do, which is not uncommon for me to do, what I'm going to do is we'll all chop this, that, that, and that. And we'll 
to call this out. This is it's probably a lot of people when I listen to the rhythm after, you know, like when I just hear the rhythm or for somebody who I just hear it, probably not gonna notice this. So I'm mean, think that's so much better. At first, Canada like a bit um obnoxious. I'm never really like that. So feel like this kind of like a too loud, so we can take out that. Second one, we're gonna turn it though. Take it to the record. Okay, move on into the verse. So, what we are bring over? Of course, we bring over the strings, but all of the unnecessary shit really can go. The piano would only make it play one time. Up. I already turn it off on the way one name, so that can definitely go completely. from this one. Well, also if you um, mix this effect So let's turn that off. Let's go Alt F8. Desktop, what do you really want me to do yesterday? Live chat. Um, desktop, live chat, project bones, mixer, master. All right.
Oh shit. I figured some head on a chain from a master. Yeah, so um no, we don't need all of the mixing. What we do we do? We'll start add some chops in the rhythm, add some vibe to the rhythm. So here. Should have a kick. So, let me do that, sir. We don't play around with the pitch. So, the right click, create automation clip. Do not try this if you're not familiar with it. You know what I mean, um, it's not something we kind of take lightly, to tell you the truth. So, we don't right click, copy value. Go back to the verse. Let me say we'll play around with it. So, let's move this up. That's fine. Somewhere we have some movement. Cool. Click pierce. Right click pierce. Hear that? Let's go walk a little further so I can really hear it. Let's do this. Delete this. <laughs> Listen. Uh, no. Let's try this. So the, the, the cursor slow down. Cool. Alright, so let's go PS Valley. Alright. Let's get the cut tool. Um or the kick. So we have two kick. Let's um exaggerate that a bit. I kind of do some more stand out. So switch back to the brush. I'll take the kick here. Chop. And chop off one end. And everything else we can sharpen up. <laughs> this is crazy looking shit. I'm fuck around with it now. Fuck up this whole verse. <laughs> like if you listen right, that's why it sounds like shit. <laughs> you want to a artist, you do some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this right there so is better than purchase your trucks today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Let's go. Okay, if you look, look on the wheel file. indication of what I'm going. So now, what we can do is literally, let's take this from 198 or whatever. Copy. And we can literally 
PS. It's like kind of not something for you really take lightly because you can really fuck up already if you don't know what you do. <laughs> Let's copy this. Let's paste this. Cool. And we'll go back down to 98. On the master, right after the um, um, what is this? Oh, that's not the master. It's on the master. Yeah, right after the tape machine, we had um, we have the one knob filter. Um, we have automate. I don't know how my movie was plugging them. I do this crazy shit from where they put me up, not the plugin. And then, as you can hear, automatically one side of me, I had your gun, which is turn us off. Cool. So, there. It's so weird. I do that from, from where they're not sure why. So, let's um find a good level for this and then we automate it. Like that's cool. So let's turn this off. Right click, copy volume. Let's create automation clip. So right now the volume is at zero, so it's off. You know, but when I'm gonna change this, the like the curve of the of the automation, which is I'm gonna change the the mix, how much that we hear or how much that we don't hear. So. Back in. I mean, slowly come out of a half a bar. Automation clips the one can is get rid of that, search that, chop off that. You can put them in them own little lane down here, so with the um, with the effects, them push this up, push this up. I'm 
to think I can still turn off. <laughs> Why GT walk on? <laughs> um, all right, then. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to really add too much more as far as the fix so we can really color up them. Yeah? Um, so I'm going to just add my tug. It's. Which load as fuck for no reason. And we need five space. Or no, we need one, two, three space. So I'll put my tag here. All right. And now we can change color upon them things here. Them thing here. Gradient. Can do the same blue. Do the same brown. Now we have a much kind of smoother transition. So, can take out the two automation clip and link them here. Let's um, change the color to one them here. Right click, rename, change color like that. Control Shift L. Cool. Send the tag to the reverb. Back to the top. It's Beast, the track star. Watch this. So all we can do here, right, is if we set a point, if we um right click here and choose smooth or like pulse or something like that, can go crazy with the um what you call it. Uh, where is this thing? I try to find the um. I try to find the uh, BSC to right there, so. So we can do crazy shit with the, um, the automation. Um, yeah, I'm just straighten it out. I'll change it by right-clicking the point to the right. So we can do double curve. Um, we have wave. We 
which you know we can really do. Um, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> All the way across. Something like that. Yeah, and it's not like it have a steel like that because we can always add a sorry about that. Can always add a point, you know, and do whatever the fuck we want to do with the automation. You know, like we can make it start fast, slow long as it go along. You understand what I say? We also can change it to Something like this, which um, I try to find a, it's supposed to be a sine wave somewhere along the place here. Don't know it, but you kind of get the idea though. Um, a lot of little shit or can do with this. Um, I try to find um, like a sine wave preset. No, no, make it not show up. It's a square wave. Hmm. This right says so not a sine wave. I don't make it natural, but we have a lot of stuff we can do with uh with the automation in IFL. Not too much, but no, better than better than most. I wouldn't say better than most, it's just alright. With. No, there's no. Sign with preset, that's so weird. Oh, see there? Yeah, sign with. Oh, but just kind of get the idea what I can do. I don't want this for like a half of this. So I'll change this back to smooth. Get the idea. Um, where's the um, single curve? Kind of made this come out. I mean, um, and then we can get rid of all of them, yeah. You know, and then what that do? Is it give it three unique verse? You understand the answer? So that's the um the main thing about that. Alright, now to them loops, yeah, before I forget. Let's um do this. Let's right click, make unique as unique as a sample. Desktop, yard vibes, transitions, loop, new folder, loops. I just put loops. Um, transition. Back, yes or no? Question. Underscore loop. Callish. Underscore what? Uh, 
I said the first one. Starting uh, up this. Call this one. Make you unique and simple. Desktop. Loops. Dry. Cool. Set. And delete them out of the session now. Don't need them no more. Oh, shit. No, I need it. I'm going to delete. 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 Okay, so yeah, I'm going to delete them. Back to the rhythm. Um, we don't end the rhythm, yeah. Tag. And. It's Beast, the track star. Mm, I feel like that's fine. Let's do this too. Let's copy this. So it sounds like I'm a tug. Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> that will work. Cut off that. Actually, I can make it go out like that. Can cut off the front door. Put this up here. Qual. Qual. Feel like I probably could have um. Said feed into. Hmm. That's fine. It's beast, the truck star. Cool. Let's go up to the top. See if take a listen. It's beast, the truck star. PCR Mac, um, what you more comfortable with? Um, me more comfortable with like Windows PC. Me, I use them from way back at 2001, 2002. I'm gonna go Um, so yeah, I'm more comfortable with Windows. Um, uh, but I have two MacBook for me also can mix pun. Um, but it's really what you're comfortable upon. I'm more comfortable with Windows shortcuts them, but on the Mac side, I can use it, but I'm not really that fluent with it. So I would prefer PC. You know, it's a personal thing. If you want a lot of plugins, especially upon your Banduli market, market, Windows are the better way to go. You can, you can get almost any plugin crack on Windows. On the Mac, it's more limited and it's more tricky to install plugins on Mac than on Windows. Um, when it comes to stability, Pro Tools, and most of the major DAW, a lot of them much more stable on the Mac side than on the Windows side. Pro Tools especially is very, very stable on Win um, Mac, and much more so than on Windows. But let me say, it's up to you, bro. Um, 
depending on what you want it for. If you try to build with him, get your Windows laptop and you're good. Um, if you try like mix and all them type of stuff there and you want, you know, something with a lot of stability, get a MacBook. But overall, I would take a PC over a Mac any day. <laughs> yeah, man, why GT with the F4? Almost two hours. And some of the parts are already much slow down. Yeah, some parts are already much slow down, yeah. Do it on purpose. My heart on me the tempo. So what I notice is from verse to chorus is not really that noticeable. So let's take out the dark score and see something. Yeah, I like it without the um, dark score piano, so I'll take it out. Just we have a much bigger gap between the verse and the chorus. So. Yourself, man. For the last chorus, yeah, for the last bar, yeah, what I'm going to do is we do, we'll do something kind of creative. So, <clears throat> first, we need a knife tool. So, we'll chop this last bar in a four. All of the um, first part, we'll do get rid of. So, all of that can go away. This two. Um, cut this again. Now, because... The knife tool, when I use it in a the, in a the red, more like, more call it red blade or whatever, when I use the red blade side of the knife, or let's say the red side of the knife, when I cut anything to the right, go get, go go away. Normally, when I cut, it always get rid of the smaller piece. So if I cut right now, it take off the stuff to the right because it's smaller. But if I cut to the left and it big up on the right, it take off the piece upon the left. But in a this situation, it always, when it's even, it always I go take off the right side. You know? So what we do is we don't cut blue, split it, and then we don't manually now take away all of this. So like that. So yeah, what we don't do is we don't take, we don't make the snare roll do its thing. Like that. But every time the snare roll let up, we are gonna bring in the filter. On the beat. So let's go up, up, and down. So if we go back out, make this play a little. You know what I mean? And then right at the start, just for kind of bring in the verse one like a crazy way. Let's go up with this. And let's turn this back part into a pulse. Um, we can also delete this. But we do need to add a second point. 
just so we can do something what don't affect this apart here. Yeah. So the other second point here, and we don't drag it over and overlap the two of them. So now what we can do is we drag it down. You know what I mean? Notice that we have a different I mean, so let's try um, a few of these um, automation. Let this with us. What we also can do is because we have the filter and we know so the kicker play right at the front, we don't chop this. Right, get rid of all of this and all of that. Anything we empty, we can get rid of that too. Yeah, and what we do, do? We do switch to the brush, duplicate this four time. And we do four quick little stab to start the, um, the verse. And I make sure say we get it how we want it. We now automate the master fader. So wait there. Put it in here. So lock to content. Log back to which power in there. Which is what the last verse, right? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, so. Not in the last verse. The second half of the course. Okay, don't really matter. Drop this all over down. We do switch this to quarter. Um, half do. So what we do is we do right click and we do make some chops. And this all make me like the automation in a um, in a FL studio. Too much fucker. Cool. Bring this down and bring this back up. So I'm gonna need to do is go back out to the beginning, right click, copy volume. I'm also need to change this shit from whatever the fuck it up on to smooth. Yeah, my voice sound different, so sorry about that. <laughs> No. If we it's so hard for delete automation and if it is crazy that bomber ass clock. <laughs> See, nah. Yeah, show me, um, show me did I go through the filter, brother. Every time my voice go through the filter, can I get filled out? Yeah, that did I go on. Cut the on the master channel and me the talk through the mixer. That's why. Yeah, so that now work. Which is why I say automation in FL Studio. Sometimes I just fuck her. Because I swear somebody did have one um, fucking wave. Smooth. Yeah. Kind of like that. So I'll lift it like that. Let's run it back from top. 
from top. Um, uh, sneak. Big up yourself, brother. Um, uh, man said the grade one. <laughs> the grade 11. <laughs> nah, brother. You know, like me, I use FL Studio. Say Sharon sound shaky. <laughs> Hear my car, my earphone. Oh, no, nah, man. Um, <laughs> nah, just remember that I got through the filter, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, Kemara, tomorrow, you know. What did they, man? What did they answer? What go on, you know? I'll play it in a second. Um, um just up your thing. All right, Tony, give thanks, brother. It's appreciated, bro. You know what I mean? Much, much love, bro. I build my own PC, how much RAM or what processor. It takes the whole up. All right, so mine. Me have a, um, me have a, um, let's go with this PC and right click properties. So me have, um, me have 32 gig of RAM um, and me have a 16 core CPU. If I tell you the absolute truth, that no means shit to FL Studio. Um, if a FL Studio you build a computer for, you need a fast, Single core CPU. I never do too much research when I did a build my computer. So I get one expensive 10,000 core CPU. And FL only I use one. So let like me say you need a fast single core CPU. 12 gig of RAM and you're good. Minimum eight. But 12 and you're good. Um, let me show you a thing. So if, if you go in a, the task manager right now. Which I don't want to make it na control alt delete. Damn jackass. So now I'm gonna say cancel. Control alt delete. Dark. Cancel. Control alt delete. So if we go in a performance, um let's play the song and watch and watch what go on. Sixteen core them CPU, but if you peep, the only one I really I get utilized like that is the seventh. Uh, which part is seven, 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 or even the fifteen? But it never they use see that's so a seven, right? That's so. a yeah. So the faster this are the better your single core performance upon the CPU, the better it go react to FL Studio. RAM not really important to FL Studio. Hard drive speed, if you can get a SSD, that's cool too. But in a build computer, if, especially if you wanted to use FL, let me say, no worry about how much core it have on four core CPU with a fast single core performance, they'll perform better than a 20 core CPU with slow simple core, um, single core performance. So that are, the, that are the, the big thing with FL Studio. Okay? It only use one core out of the CPU. I don't know why they program it like that, but that's just the way it is. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know your thing, bro. You know your thing, brother. I 
country one more time. Definitely sound better with the dark score out of the verse and only in the um, chorus. Jordan Kurt. Yeah, man, Jordan Kurt, big up yourself. Thanks for the subscription, bro. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, let me say, yo, let me just make a Ryzen 716 core. And just reinstall on VST and not. And not that is a fake. I'm out for now. My mind's still busy getting these latest pieces out. I big up myself, bro. <laughs> Yeah, like, so we're like a bong sit. Um, right. Yeah, so I already did have a, a nice look at bongs, but that was just a demo of the rhythm. So this is how the rhythm did. Um, let's open up the folder there and listen to where it start out. Basically, compared to you know, Z-Tech rhythm. That's how it start. Yeah, that big sign. Yeah. What? We get it to a better place, you know? Kick a thumb harder, be a fit better. And it's much cleaner. So let's bounce that out. Um, why this thing here? Yeah, we need to rename this um ZTech rhythm underscore demo. Cool. Boom, this has an MP3. 320. Wave file. 16 bit stereo. Now I'm going to split the tracks them right now. Everything is good. Stop.
Mm, all right, let's mute that. <laughs> Put it back here. So let's uh, take a listen to Bong's file, you know? Oh, me only bongs the fucking MP3. No, my bongs the wave file, too, right? Could I swear I'm select like wave file, dog? Unless I'm override the demo. Mm, so these are the final bongs that they heard him there. And if we um, look on it in a ozone. You see, so we have um, LT. I'm trying, you know what I mean? Hey, yeah, man, Alric, you know what you think of that? Hey, anything you want to know, brother, smile to Definitely turn out good. Definitely turn out good. Yeah. So another thing for me do is make the video kind of like the outer space rhythm video and get it uploaded on the channel. But yeah, man. So yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Tomorrow I think we just out there. They walk out alive. I think at eight o'clock. We support our voice. The outer space rhythm, which I'm gonna left on the way. You understand, car? Oh, uh, in the stream, but we are left on the outer space rhythm, kind of getting another vibe. You understand? But definitely, I got to tune in tomorrow and check it out. You understand? So, until next time, it's your boys, Bees the Track Star. Peace. DJ Sniper, big up yourself on the subscription, bro, God. Yeah, man, Kemar is a hit, brother. <laughs>